things the hard way. Evidently, when you're with me on this podcast, you do too. I'm not going to let you fly solo. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back for another episode of Red Wine and Chaos. Um, that's Lara over there. Hey. And I am Ash. And um, we're back in a regular Setting. bedroom studio. In our... Um, our mammals in their um in their natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> Man, speaking of, I saw a preview today, a movie preview for this movie called Beast, and it's got Idris Elba in yeah, it. Yeah, Did yeah, you see yeah. it with the lion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I would like to see that. I would like to see this as well. It looks good, but the whole time I can't help but be the asshole who's like, why the fuck? I'm not going to sign up for like an African safari Hell no. ever in life. I don't know why people play with wild animals like they're not <laughs> like they're not going to attack or like there's not a potential, you know, threat threat. Oh, let me just go invade their whole natural environment and hope they don't attack me and rip me from limb to limb. Yeah. Anyways, no, I happen you. to see that. But. Um, I would like to see. I did. Yeah. We, we went and saw Doctor Strange a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. We saw that, too. And um, I think that preview was. Oh, that was part of the... Yeah. I just happened to see it on Instagram today. That's what made me think of yeah. it. Um, Mammals in their natural habitat. That's us. That is us. Last time we recorded in here, I asked John to clean up the bedroom. Mm-hmm. And, um, er, well, he certainly no, I did it. I, di- I didn't. That's, oh. that's right. I didn't ask him. And I came home and I remember being like, oh my gosh, you cleaned up the bedroom. That was so nice of you. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't here. I think he had taken Oliver to karate. Wasn't and it because he had moved oh, this up yes. here? Yeah, he, he rearranged here, and so bro- yeah, moved the couch in. Yep, and- yep. And so I said, it looks great up here. I'm, I ke- thank you so much. And he said, yeah, um, don't open the closet. <laughs> so so I opened the closet. And he took every, I had done every like article of clothing mm-hmm. in the wash. Mm-hmm. He shoved every single one of them in the closet and shut the door. Mm-hmm. So today I asked him, he was home with Oliver today. And I said, hey, um, I called him on my way home because I wanted to ask him how Oliver's day was. And I said, did you happen to clean up, clean up the bedroom? Uh, just, I, don't, I didn't ask you to, but did you just happen to do that? He said, no. I said, well, forgot it was Tuesday because it's Memorial Day weekend. And right. Completely off. I forgot off. it was Tuesday. And um, I'm not mad about it, though. I like it, those short work weeks. Yeah. I said, and Lars coming over to record tonight. And um, before you got here, you probably could not see the floor mm-hmm. over here. There were so many. Because, again, mm-hmm. this is what happens. I, like, binge wash clothes. Mm-hmm. And I wash every article of clothing in but one sitting. Put it and then I don't want to put it away because mm-hmm. I'm overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. He said, yeah, I'll go pick it up. So he picked up the bedroom when he got here. <laughs> and I walked in. <laughs> and I said, Lar, do you remember last time how John said not to open the closet because he cleaned up the bedroom? I said, yeah. I was like, well. He put every article of clothing on the bed this time and then put the comforter over it. So, I'm not going to lie to you. When you first opened the door and I looked in, I'm like, is he under there? Like, <laughs> what is he doing? Why is he hiding under the blankets? <laughs> it looks like a very large, you know, John's a pretty large guy, but it, this would be much larger than John. But I, I had no idea what was going on. Um, it looks like if you took John, Oliver, and LeVar and like stacked them on top, top of, of one each another. Other. Yeah, and they were hiding. They were like the in like a ball, like hunched yeah. over. Yeah. That's it, what th- it-, it threw me off. And then I realized that it's not John. It's close. close. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, at least he picked up. It was the he effort. Did pick you know? up. And he lit a candle. He did. He set the whole ambiance for mammals in their natural habitat. <laughs> Listen, I'm rolling with it because I truly felt like a fucking, like I was on an African safari today with the fact that my air conditioning in my car doesn't work. You want to talk about spicy. Oh my God. It is hot as balls. It is um, like the highest Scoville level hot sauce outside right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's 93 today, I think, yeah. is what it got up yeah. to. And so went home for Memorial Weekend. And my dad attempted to fix my air conditioning. Like, it needed to be recharged or whatever. Well, it didn't work. And while he was doing it, he was like, it's really not taking much. Like, I don't know. It's not really working. And I'm like, fucking cool. But it was like, at that time, it wasn't as hot 
outside yeah. it is now. So it was blowing out cold air then. And literally today it was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. No, you're not going to do no, that to you're me not, today. Yeah, Thank you. Nope. You're just going to have to die. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, being me, freeze at work, right? Typically. Typically. Yeah. And I have shorts on and then I have a sleeveless shirt on. But I always wear like a hoodie to work in the summertime in the morning so that I don't freeze yeah. in the office. So it's all great and I'm comfortable in the office and then I rush out and I leave to go on my lunch break because I had to run a few errands and then I get back in the car and remember how hot it is and then the air conditioning was like no and so I'm driving down the road down the highway and I'm dying like so hot that I'm like overwhelmed almost you know because I had the windows down but there's no relief coming from the outside it's just as hot outside as it is in there yeah and I'm like driving down the highway and as I'm driving I'm you know no judgment here I'm safe everybody's safe but I pulled my fucking hoodie off over my head and took that bitch off while I was driving down the highway because I couldn't take it anymore it's hot it was that hot I was sweating sitting in my car fucking sweating and I'm like this is gross first world problems this is not okay need to get that shit fixed i was really um upset that i wore shoes to work today yeah instead of like a sandal well my toes are not because i can't i have to wear like yeah business casual right i I can wear jeans but they can't have holes in them right i gotta look decent you can't look like what i got on right now no yeah i wish i could do you know i would never shower or (laughs) wash my hair or do i showered but i did not wash my hair today I wouldn't do, I would never wash my hair if I could roll into work wearing whatever I wanted. Yeah. I would never, never wash my hair. Well, I'm trying to follow the instructions of my stylist and to not wash it often so that the color remains longer, which Mm -hmm. it has worked. Mm. So I'm trying to get two days no wash. Oh, look yeah. at you just so really this is pushing day two. the limit. This is day two. And it, and it is wildly crazy. It looks crazy. It's up. It's in like a high messy bun, but... It's so hot today, and I've gotten so hot that it's, like, sticking out all over the place. You know, it's not my normal kept even up hair. I I look crazy as shit today, folks. No. No cap. (laughs) Listen, this is what you're getting I I need a goddamn cap. Okay, I need a a fucking ball cap on my head. I don't know if I've ever seen you wear a baseball cap. I don't, because they look weird. Now, I can rock those cool-ass hats, those nice Mm -hmm. brim, you know, wide-rimmed whatever, like, dope hats but i can't i look like weird in a baseball hat i look people say i don't but i, I look feel weird like I do. in a wide brimmed hat yeah i wish i, I could wear, rock a baseball cap i, I want to hats a lot and when i do it's like i wear it backwards and then i i pull a braid down you know like i don't wear it front i, I have to like for its i have to yeah i can't and i kind of <laughs> have to like funky it up so i don't look for me i feel like i don't look natural in it so i like i put it on backwards and then have my you know like braid my hair down or something yeah so i don't look we have to find i think it's the right baseball hat they make well, a it's difference just like how my winter hats i have to have the fucking thing on the top yeah or else i don't the the, 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 pom-pom. the pom-pom or else i look like a peanut or something i don't know i don't know my head is weird evidently i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And it's like my, I, it might be too because my hair is like stick straight. It just doesn't yeah. all, it doesn't flow well. Like the hat thing, huh. unless it's one of those hats. Those hats I can rock. But man, I cannot in a baseball hat. Maybe it's just the right hat. I don't know. Now you have me on a mission. Oh no, we'll find you the we're right one. We're just getting ready to talk. Now we're going to talk about summer style. Yeah. Summer swag. Yeah. And we'll find and, you the right one. I have a couple baseball hats and I like them. I would, it would be cute. Like what I had on today if I had like yeah. a cute hat on. No. Nope. Don't even own any. Yeah. I don't even own any. You don't? No. Hmm. I'm going to go buy some, though. We're going to find you one. Yep. You might need to have like a... a snapback. But like a like a taller... Not, I don't want to say taller, but not like a soft hat, right? Like I think you're... Like a stiffer have, one, yeah, like almost a like a true... Like what a height. dude would wear. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like not the cute, small, the shorter... Mm-hmm. Yes. No, no. Those do not... No. It's yeah. got to be like a dude's hat. Yeah. A snapback. They make women, women, I quote unquote, women's hats that are like that, yeah. that have like a stiffer forehead. Do they? Yeah. You just got to find them. Yeah. Those little soft, like super fit. No. Mm-mm. No. Yeah. Nope. We'll find you one. All right. Now we're on a mission. Yeah. So, what to we go ju- with this fucking hot day oh, today. It's so hot. We're not drinking wine. No, not today. No, we're drinking Coronas. Yeah. 
It's not our first Corona episode. No, it's not. It's not going to be our last. We are no strangers to Corona. Not in the summertime. I love a Corona in the summer. I like mine with lime, but I'm drinking it Ashley's way today. <laughs> I do she not. don't buy me no limes. I do not like lime in my There's Corona. no lime in my coconut. <laughs> no lime. There's no lime. No lime. No lime. She don't like lime in hers. It's like, I'm like, it's still okay, but really could use lime. So I'm going to give I it a two. Have lime I'm going to give it a two cheers. And it's not Corona's fault. <laughs> Ashley Rock's fault. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Corona. Corona. It's not you. <laughs> if I had my lime in here, be three and a half. Clinks. Oh, well, I'm giving it a three because this is the way that I drink Corona. It is very refreshing. though. It is because it's cold and it's perfect coming out this glass bottle. Oh, it's hot out there, y'all. I was drinking Topo Chico's. My favorite. This weekend. I like them all, but I don't like the traditional margarita one. Mm. I don't like it. And that was the general consensus of the family. Like, Andy was like, oh, this is trash. The only person I liked it was Christy's mom, Pat. She did oh. like it. She drank one. I liked the margarita one. I don't like it. I would say out of all the seltzers I've had, those are probably my the, the top other of three ones flavors. Are my favorite. The the prickly pear, mm-hmm. the strawberry biscuits, and the pineapple. I can slam those all day. Yeah, and and I put them on ice. Oh yeah, which was even better. Yeah, um, and then I drank crown peach all weekend as well. Yum. Yeah, with lemonade. Yum. It was lovely. Yeah, I finished the Tapo Chicos that we had. Mm-hmm. I had some vodka. That's probably it. Yeah. Yeah, I probably What was you drinking your vodka with? Um, Monster. Mm. Or I bought some of that, like, strawberry lemonade. Mm -hmm. Like, Simply. Yeah, that's what I was putting in my um, crown. I love the Simply with crown. Mm -hmm. And then I do a slice of fresh lemon with it. Mm -hmm. That was what I was telling you. Without that, I will never buy that juice I had in there that night. We were having it at my house. I don't like that strawberry peach juice with that. Oh, yeah, no. I don't like it. But with just lemonade, it's perfect. Yeah. So um, I put, but my whole family's on this, uh, sorry, I forgot to turn my ringer off. My whole family's on this crown kick. So it's so funny. I was getting ready to leave and I know Carmen really likes it. And um, she, um, we both went and bought two fifths. So I bought two because I know Carmen and Chrissy really like it. Oh yeah. And Carmen went and bought two. So we had four fifths (laughs) of crown peach at my house for the freaking weekend and we went through two and a quarter oh so we put a little dent in it yeah mm-hmm. did they take it home or will it be there for next time she said i took so she grabbed my full one and then i took her other one that was partially drank and she literally texted me while i was here and she was like so i accidentally grabbed somebody's completely full <laughs> fifth <laughs> and she didn't know it was me or christy and i was like it's me but just save it for the next time we come home so yeah we'll just there you have go it. yeah so yeah but crown peach is the deal because they can't get it down there as easily as we can get it here oh really yeah huh that's interesting she has a hard time finding it but you know she found enough to buy two of them she did she did. And my, um, both stores right by my house keep it on supply. Perfect. The one lady who works at Harding's is like, oh, I love that stuff. I keep it here. She's like, I make sure I have a full supply of it. I'm like, I knew I liked you. Appreciate you. So you went to the lake this weekend. Mm-hmm. You guys put the dock in. Yeah. You did some tubing. Yep. Skiing. I did not know. You didn't ski. No, it was rough. Was it? Yeah, it was super windy, and yeah. so I was like, no, thanks, and it was super busy, <laughs> just not, no, first, it was not it, ideal. Well, it was the first, like, I mean, we've had nice weekends, but yeah. it was perfection. hot, it was nice out, there were no clouds, it didn't rain, no. it was a good lake weekend, for sure. Memorial weekend, historically, is either perfect like that, or but garbage. more often than not, it's fucking garbage. Yeah. It's cold and rainy and That gray. one year we came up to help put the dock in, it was nasty. Nasty. <laughs> Just <laughs> nasty. John was like, I'm so glad I offered to help this year. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. And so my brothers got smart and got waiters. Mm. Like, like, yeah. like fishing waiters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And um, they were put them on. I was like, you pussies. What are you doing? You know? And my <laughs> brother's like, fuck you. You don't get in here like this. And I'm like, you're right. I don't. No, I don't. You're right. Not while the two of you but are But I was around. like, I'm really disappointed that you're moving on to waiters. Like, what is wrong you with you? You old men. You old bastards. Um, but I do, I do have to get in to help put the shore station in and I got in to help my neighbors put theirs in. And so I was in there. I probably got up to my chest at one point. Um, it wasn't freezing, but no. it, it, at first what, you, nice. you know, it could take your breath away a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, um, they opened our pool this weekend. I know. So, so we excited. went to the pool and it was the same kind of, like it was, you got used to it pretty quick, but it, that first kind of drop in there, it's like, whoo, mm-hmm. cold. It's cold. Yeah. It was, it takes your breath away. Yeah. I'm interested to see what the pool is like at my apartment. Yeah. I'm excited for that. We, yeah, I me picked too. up the key today. I want to see. There was definitely people there. Like, they were there. Um, yesterday we were going to go, but it was like, LeVar and I, I looked at both of us yesterday and I'm like, we've had a lot of sun. Yeah. Time for a break. Yeah. Like, when his face is red. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm like, Ew. and like his eyes were red, you know, yeah. and I'm like, because I had every intention of going to the pool yesterday. And I'm like, I think, and it was hotter yesterday yeah. than it was yeah. Saturday and Sunday at the lake. And I was like, I think both of us, our skin needs a break. Our eyeballs need a break. So we, we didn't we didn't go to the pool yesterday, but it was packed. Yeah. We, um, so we didn't go anywhere or do anything this weekend. We kind of had a tough week last week. So mm-hmm. we stayed home and enjoyed each other's company. And we, um... Let's see. What did we do? You went somewhere yesterday. We did. Somewhere like an animal farm? We did. Where was that at? So I'll tell you. Yeah. Um, so Saturday I went and got all my flowers and planted all my flowers. Because, um, you know, that's my Mother's Day gift every year. Mm-hmm. And so I finally went and got them because it's not. They look beautiful. Thank you. It's not frosting at night anymore, so I could plant them. All right. Um, and they had this year that one nursery that I love going to. Um, if you're in West Michigan, it's called Briar Patch. And it's in Madawan, and it's my favorite. The lady there that runs it is so wonderful. Um, but she gets these every now and then. She'll get these petunias. Those are like the velvety f- feeling flowers, mm-hmm. um, and they're black. Black petunias. And I love. Did you them. get some? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll wow. show you. They're yeah. out front. Um, and I love them when she has them, mm-hmm. and they make me so happy. Mm-hmm. I, they're in their black. <laughs> They make me the color so- of my soul. <laughs> Maybe that's why they make me so happy. <laughs> um, so we got all the flowers, and then we put in. I was telling John for a while, like we want to do something with the patio, but it's just not big enough. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I, but I want to do something. I want to be able to sit out there and enjoy it because mm-hmm. I'm so tired of it just being a concrete slab. Yeah, yeah, or like just sitting on the front porch, right? Sometimes I want to just sit in the backyard. Because you have a beautiful backyard. Yeah. yeah. And so um, I was telling John for a while, like, we have those um, lights, mm-hmm. you know, and I, but we don't have anywhere to hang them outside. And mm-hmm. I don't want to put the, you know, portable canopy that we have that you mm-hmm. take to tailgates. Like, I don't want to set that up out there all right. year round. Right. Um, so he, without me asking, did the um, post, the post, we had extra concrete pot. from the fence, so he put the post oh. in like a five gallon bucket with the concrete so that it stays, and uh-huh. then he put that in the extra planter that I had uh-huh. and filled it with soil, and I put flowers in that, and so we were so able cute. to string the lights from the house yeah. to the post back to the house, and then um, a couple weekends ago when we were pulling out all of the outside stuff, John was carrying that big patio table that we had, the glass mm. one, by himself, and lost his balance and shattered the glass everywhere so we need a new patio table so Mm -hmm. i went and bought a smaller one Mm -hmm. um so it fits Fits nicer on the -hmm. the patio and we bought an umbrella and it's so cute it's so cute back there so i got here early before ashley did and we were sitting on the front porch and i used to have (laughs) my own access to the house i had my own garage door opener and i kept wondering where the fuck it disappeared to. And Ashley said she thinks John took it. So I have to take that up with John. <laughs> so we were sitting on the porch waiting and she was like, the code is this, 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 and this. And I'm like, oh, we'll go inside. So we went inside and 
let Shatsy out and went to go let him outside. And I opened up the door and I'm like, oh, this is so cute. Because <laughs> I saw in the photo that you had taken, I saw the patio set, but I didn't see, I did not notice the poster, the oh, lights okay. for whatever reason. I yeah. I think I was focused on the patio set and, and obviously the two of my favorite guys in the picture. Yeah. And I didn't see the light or the post and i was like this is so cute yeah. and i and it was a really cute little surprise when it I turns out like when you're sitting out there kind of like when the sun is going down mm-hmm. um you can see like all of the flowers mm-hmm. that i planted back there oh. i put some new ones around you know rosie's tree and mm-hmm. i finished a shade garden back there and i put some flowers one of the flowers i planted in the post bucket mm-hmm. is a climber so it'll climb that it'll post. climb the post oh mm-hmm. nice Perfect. So yeah, it looks great. I just am like so happy with it. it that is. made me really happy. Sunday Sometimes morning. Sometimes you just need a little facelift like that. Yeah. You know? little, it, you know, simple it wasn't something. super expensive. Mm-mm. It just was so. Sunday morning we went golfing. Oh. So that was fun. The three of you? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then um, yesterday we went to with um, Brooklyn and KK and Kenny. Um, we went to Shipshawana. You went, oh, to Shipshawana. Yep. That's a bit of a hike, isn't it? Uh, about 45 minutes. Really? Yeah. It's only 45 minutes? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it was that close. I didn't either. And so it was this um, Dutch farm, Dutch Creek farm, Dutch area farm. I don't know. I fuck it up. Mm -hmm. John was like, where is this place? I was like, I don't know. Who found it? You? Brooklyn. Brooklyn, of course. So Brooklyn had been there before. Brooklyn knows how to find the animals. All of them. Yeah, she's going to be the person in Beast who gets chomped up. because she, Look at that little kitty. He just wants a hug. <laughs> so, um, so Brooklyn was like, well, let's, I, this is my first weekend. I don't have any plans. I don't have anything to do. Like, let's all do something kind of together. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I know Laura's going to her mom's because that's what she does every year. So, like, let's all do something together. And Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, sure, I'm game. And like I said, we had a tough week last week. So I wanted to do something fun with Oliver. And um, so it's this Amish farm. And they have so many different kind of animals. Mm -hmm. They had um, cows with the big, huge horns. Mm-hmm. Like hu- like the huge ones. Mm-hmm. They had buffalo and zebras and um, what else did they have in that? So they have all these animals and you get in this wagon and they give you a bucket of feed and the animals just come to just you. come right up to you and you mm-hmm. get to like feed them. And John Pet was like dropping pellets into these animals mouths as their mouths were open like mm-hmm. they were a fucking sorority girl at a bar. <laughs> and um but it was so cool like oliver was so happy Mm -hmm. you know he loves animals Animals. like Mm -hmm. he brought his um animal encyclopedia for the drive down there so that he he could be preparing yeah he needed to know all the things about all the animals nice um so they take you through this whole thing and it's a pretty long ride like Mm -hmm. i mean it you definitely it's it's for what you're getting it's pretty cheap Mm -hmm. but then they have this whole like petting area so Mm -hmm. they had all these pygmy goats and they had just had babies they were like this big and kk fell in love with one of them Mm -hmm. and i got the cutest picture of kk with this very sweet little pygmy goat Mm -hmm. on their lap and it just cuddled with them the whole time Mm -hmm. it was i couldn't i saw oliver with the turtle Yep, you know, that's turtle. his fave. So mm-hmm. he was so happy with the turtle. And then they had like little ducklings that you could pick up or oh, um, little bunnies. How they much had, did it cost? Um, It was like a per person type thing. Yeah, I think it was like, I want to say like 15 bucks a person. That's not bad. For adults and then mm-hmm. kids would like eight bucks for kids, seven bucks for kids. Nice. But we were there for hours, five hours. Mm hmm. I mean, it was it was awesome. Wow, that's cool. And you just get a lot out of it. They had you wouldn't have gone in there, but they had like a whole bird thing where you could go no. in and feed the birds. There was a there was a white cockatoo. Was it a cockatoo? Its name was Oliver. The bird's name was, mm-hmm. and so Oliver hung out with Oliver like For the whole time. Are they caged? No, you could like no oh, no. <laughs> no. You could like hold it up and feed it. Yeah, and no. Oliver was so happy. They had horses and they had um, cows. Brooklyn found herself like in all the... the things except birds there. Yeah. 
Brooklyn found herself in the in the pen I, with the cows, and she sat down on that nasty ass so dirt, and just these cows were just like laying all over her. She was so happy. She was in there in her element. Oh my gosh, I've know. never. Like I always knew that that stuff made her happy, but I've never seen it up close. And uh-huh. to see it up close is like, yeah, a she thing like of needs beauty. her own farm. Yeah, she yeah, does. She really belongs on a farm somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then after Tyrone would never have it, but <laughs> I think it's a really great thought. You know, <laughs> you know, if they buy a house, it has enough property. Like TC yeah, can have his basketball still. court on this side, and she can have her farm sure. on this it's side. All about and compromise. That's what absolutely. they say. Absolutely, what they say about this marriage stuff. I wouldn't know, but yeah, that's, that's what they say. Um, and then afterwards, we were hungry, and the kids were like, "Let's go to McDonald's and let's go to Burger King." And I'm all three of us adults were like, "No, no, I'm so tired of fast food. Like, no, mm-hmm. we're not going." So we went to the blue, blue barn, blue theater, blue, blue, blue plate, something. blue something mm-hmm. um, restaurant. And so we did, they have two different parts in there. It's, I think it's like a famous restaurant in Shipshawana. It's like mm-hmm. a popular one. They have two different parts. You can go and order off the menu or you can get the buffet. Buffet. So mm-hmm. we all chose the buffet. How was it? Fucking awesome. See? Oh I my god, them Amish. I swear. They be knowing what they're doing. They had noodles. They had this. Oh, they had Amish noodles. They had the noodles. Oh. And their fried chicken was oh, cut it so out. good. Cut it was it so good. And then they had this vegetable casserole mm-hmm. that was probably one of the best things I've ever had. Hmm. It was just, it was so good. And it was such a fun day. And nice. Um, it was to nice. Check that place out. Yeah, we'll have to all definitely go yeah, back. Like it was a lot of go. fun. That sounds like fun. Minus the birds. Minus the birds. You don't no. have to go into the birds. No, I watch everybody else. They're really like tucked into the back too, so like you could completely avoid it altogether yeah. if you wanted to. True. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Brooklyn and I were talking because it was hot mm-hmm. yesterday. It was. It wasn't too bad where we were because um, it was pretty breezy. Mm-hmm. So it it felt okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was it was hot. Mm-hmm. And um, I had on like a tank top bodysuit and mm-hmm. a pair of like button fly shorts mm-hmm. um, and some sandals. And you Brooklyn, looked adorable. Thank you. I know. I saw the picture and I was like, oh, it's the her. coral. Look at her. That coral's good on my skin tone. I could tell it was a bodysuit. Yeah. And um, Brooklyn was talking about how she wants to get new summer clothes. And, mm-hmm. um, we started talking about how that feels tough to do, kind of impossible to wrap your mind around as females at the age we're at, as mothers, Mm -hmm. like everything has just changed and it's so different and you don't even feel or look like a fragment of what you were. Right. You know, when you were younger. Right. And that's a big pill to swallow because um, like mentally, Mm -hmm while I'm a little bit more mature, like I still feel young, like right. mind wise. Right. Um, but I don't physically feel it, feel it. Right. Or look, th- look it. Right. And, um, you know, and she was kind of sharing, I'm sorry, Brooklyn, if I'm calling you out, but she was kind of sharing some thoughts about like nothing that all of us haven't thought. Right. At, in this and she day said day. something to me that really kind of like resonated. And mm-hmm. she said, you know, I just don't know how to get over being so hard on myself. She said, I look at all of these other women who are my size or bigger or even skinnier or because everybody struggles with body image issues, no matter Mm -hmm. what size you are. Mm -hmm. She said, but I look at all of these other women and the first thing that comes to my mind is how beautiful they look, Mm -hmm. not how big they are. Mm -hmm. Or God, look at the cellulite on her legs Mm -hmm. or her belly is hanging out or her arms are too big or, you know, her double chin is like a quadruple chin like she's like I don't ever think that I always think how beautiful everybody all these women look Mm -hmm. but I can't ever think that way about myself Mm -hmm. and I and it sat with me as I'm sitting there not a size two Mm -hmm. in button fly jean shorts Mm -hmm. and a bodysuit and a pair of sandals Mm -hmm. and I thought you know, you're right. Like I, there was a point in time, not that long ago, mm-hmm. where I would, you would not have caught me dead. And I'm pretty sure we even had a podcast where I was like, I want to try a bodysuit. Yeah. And yep. 
you would not have caught me in one Mm -hmm. a year ago. Mm -hmm. Um, That was our fashion episode. If you haven't listened to it, go back. Yeah. (laughs) Shameless plug. Um, Please just reminding folks, catch up if you can. Catch up. We talked about it. It's back there. I can remember what it's called, but it's back there. It's (laughs) It's back there. (laughs) There's fashion or something in the title. Just go back and look. (laughs) It's been a while. I don't remember what it's called. But I... I was trying to think of um, like what had changed in me mm-hmm. to where because like I don't get me wrong I still have body image issues mm-hmm. but they're no longer keeping me from doing the things or wearing the things mm-hmm. now I won't wear a crop top I draw a line at a crop top <laughs> I'm <laughs> that's, ditto I just have a line and that is it well no you know what I rocked a crop top last year I mean, good for you. With a high-waisted skirt. But you wouldn't catch me in one right now. I think even if I was thinner, you wouldn't catch me in one. Yeah. That's just not my style. Yeah. And it was a modest crop top. You know, like, again, there was not much space between yeah. the skirt and the bottom of the shirt. Yeah. It was very little. And I was down in Florida. So, you know, oh, like yeah. it, was, it was like everybody was wearing Everyone. no clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but I just decided, like, it's not fair to me. To not wear what I like, to mm-hmm. not wear what I think I look good in, because at mm-hmm. the end of the day, like Brooklyn said, nobody cares. Right. Right? Nobody's looking at me. Well, maybe they are, but they're probably not looking at me like, oh, look at that fat cow coming in hot. Mm-hmm. Like, they're not, that's not happening. Mm-hmm. Especially, I feel like, in this movement of like body positivity and supporting women, that's not something that's happening as often as it was maybe when we were younger Mm -hmm. i will say tim brought it to my attention one time we were i think you and i had talked about this we were out bowling we were at the bowling alley and a larger girl had walked past and she was younger she was probably in her 20s and she was rocking some 20 year old stuff you know 20 something old stuff she had a crop top on and her clothes were but she was so confident you could tell by the way she carried herself and he said he asked me he said like what is it about what is it about like he said some experiences I've had is like women who are in really great shape or like are super thin or like have these ridiculous bodies oftentimes have so much less self esteem or are less mm. confident than some women that you see out here who are larger and just feel good, look good and exudes. Why can't why can't everybody exude that same confidence? And I said, Well, I said, you know, everybody's dealing with their own demons, you know, and I said, I think women in particular, and I know men deal with body image issues too. I'm not, I'm not, you know, just assigning it to a gender. Everybody does. Um, But I think that, you know, we, I can only speak as a woman because that's what I am, but um, <laughs> I think that we are harder. We have a tendency to be harder on ourselves, especially about the way that we look and about our body image based on, you know, society and what we're told and TV especially and magazines, TV and magazines and, and so on and so forth. And especially as we start to age. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing for me. It's, yeah, it is. It, I promise you it's becoming more apparent for me. I have not necessarily struggled with that until recently yeah and i'm being 100 percent transparent here um i'm trying to get back in the gym i have not done it consistently yet you know and i worked my behind off literally um to lose that weight and i put out of the 50 i lost i probably put 35 of it back on and um it's frustrating yeah you know, and discouraging and so you know, my body's changed again. My clothes aren't fitting the ones I had bought previously. So now I'm having to buy new clothes. Yeah. And so in addition to not just my body shape, but th- thinking about my age and my identity and who I mm. am and what is deemed age appropriate, what comfort for me is a big thing. And so I don't want to be out here like uncomfortable and digging and trying to make shit stretch or pull it down or whatever you know you know like even shorts like the shorts that I'm finding myself buying now are I love these longer Bermuda shorts and I buy them to have some rips in them so that they look a little funky or whatever 
and then just trying to build my summer wardrobe about that because I always feel so much more comfortable in the fall and winter here in Michigan because oh yeah you know we can cover up and wear our hoodies and our sweaters and our boots and our coats and all those things and then we yearn for summer but then when summer gets here I'm like oh now I gotta wear summer clothes <laughs> yeah and I'm like not excited about it but I, I I'll be honest with you when you brought this up and I started thinking about it. I probably would say that I'm struggling a little bit more now than I ever have with my image and what I want it to look like, what I want to feel like if I feel good about it. Um, And it sucks. Yeah. It sucks. And like, I would like to be like, no, I'm good and I feel great and I feel confident. And it's like, oh, I don't really know yeah. if I'm being honest, you know, like I, I, sometimes I do, but you know, like I went to go put a shirt on this morning and I'm like, God, that one doesn't even fit us to got him. It was a fucking t-shirt. Yeah. You know, I'm like, nope, nope, that's not attractive. That ain't going to be it. And so then I've tried to establish, okay, what feels good for me? Like as far as who I am, you know, you like, I like these bodysuit things or whatever it is that you feel is maybe a staple to, you know, obviously it's not a staple, but you found something that you enjoy that makes you feel good. Yeah. My like go to is my shoes. Mm-hmm. So I try to build my outfits around my shoes and <laughs> In the summertime, I'm struggling. Yeah. <laughs> you can build, you know, in the spring and winter and fall, you know, I could put some jeans on or some leggings right, right. or whatever and rock it. In the summertime, one of the reasons why I'm not wearing sandals at this point is because I need a pedicure like a motherfucker. Same. I'm overdue. Bad. But I'm just, I'm in a funky, I'm in an in-between stage. Yeah. I am. Yeah. And I, I think that that is something that's going to ever change and fluctuate yeah as we get older for sure um i think that no woman ever finds peace with their body Mm -hmm. and stays there yeah i you know i i've hit a point where i am in this moment Mm -hmm. at peace with my body Mm -hmm. i um i applaud you for that thank you and i'm not a size two and i'm Mm -hmm. not losing any weight Mm -hmm. it's not happening but i hit the point where i am physically healthy i am we have talked about this before i am religious with my doctor's appointments all of them i am religious with blood work all of them i have I'm not an unhealthy. There is nothing medically unhealthy with me. Mm -hmm. I'm a healthy. I have anxiety. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So does like a lot of it, but (laughs) eighty percent of people in this world. (laughs) But that's. I mean, that's that is the only pill that I take is Mm -hmm. my anxiety medication. Um, I am. I am. I people. You know, typically with doctors' offices, when people look at someone my size it's an automatic like you're an unhealthy person. Mm. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not. I know I'm not the thinnest person, but I've hit a point where like I work out mm. I've a lot and I'm strong and I feel good and mm-hmm. I am active and I play with my kid and I can run, you know, with John's been running lately. So like I've been trying to, I've only gone like once or twice with him, but, um, I can do it with him because mm. I'm I in decent shape. Um, I fuel my body well, but I also have not sacrificed the things that I want. Mm-hmm. I now I don't drink every single day, mm-hmm. but if I want a glass of wine or a beer or a cocktail, I'm gonna have a glass of wine or a beer or a cocktail. Mm-hmm. I don't have dessert every day, but I keep those little bites that we had down there earlier. Like I just keep those in the house because sometimes I just want a little sweet little something. Sweet something. Mm-hmm. And so I have, or a, like a pirouette. Is that what those are called? The pirouettes, the sticks? I don't know. I think they're pirouettes. No. Pir- pir- p- I don't know. Anyway, pinwheels? No, that's Mm-mm. not right. Mm-mm. Anyway, uh, or I keep those in the house because it's like I can grab one stick and have a nice little sweet treat. But I don't, you know... I fuel my body well. I take care of it. I listen to what it wants, whether that's a cupcake or a broccoli. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. 
I'm just not willing to sacrifice any of those things anymore. And and I feel very good and I feel very confident. And so I'm going to wear the bodysuit mm-hmm. regardless of how I look from the side. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to wear the bathing suit because I want to swim and play with my kid. Yeah. I want to get out and do the things. And I'll be damned if it's going to be 95 fucking degrees out and I'm wearing shorts and a long sleeve shirt because I don't want anyone to see my body. Right. I you are you. out of your GD mind. I feel you. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm and not I'm with doing you it. on that. I'm definitely with you on that. I just want to get to a point where I just feel a little bit better. You know, and I, I, that's I, and subjective I'm not, to each woman. It is. It's subjective to each woman. I, I, it's just for me mm-hmm. personally and where I'm currently at. I'm not there. You know, because I know where I was. I felt on top of the world when I had dropped that weight so much that I was like, man, I might have dropped even a little bit too much. Like I could have could have kept a couple pounds on there. And I, but I felt great. Meaning yeah. I had great energy. I was sleeping well. I felt good in the clothes that I put on. I, my confidence felt good. And I am an emotional eater. So I know why I've put some of my weight back on. Sure. I had just haven't gotten to the point yet where I've made the sacrifice that I made last time. And I don't want to have to do that if I'm being yeah. honest with you. It was a lot. Yeah. I know. I, if I found a middle ground somewhere, which I was doing pretty well, but, you know, holidays came. I traveled for work a ton this month. It's completely jacked me up, completely jacked me up and left me inconsistent. But I am hoping that in the upcoming weeks, um, you know, I know LeVar is going to be gone for about six weeks and I plan on dedicating some yeah. good, excuse me, some good time. And resources to myself during that time to be able to try to knock some of it off. But like even carrying it in my face and in my chin, I hate that. Um, but I will say one thing that I do struggle with in terms of, um, you know, you wouldn't think maybe necessarily at this age you'd feel that way. Is like sometimes how to appropriately even dress my body. Yeah. Like when I'm shopping for yeah. myself, um, that's going to... You know, I know fit is very important when it comes to clothes and making you feel good and look good and and tailored. And if things fit right, you look like you're in better yeah. shape. Um, but, you know, a lot of times with that, good fit comes with higher quality clothes. Yeah. And so one thing that I decided to do for myself, um, my boss had told me she did it and she was really happy with what she got. And I've done it before. But I, I had cut it off. And I had tried a different service, but I tried one of those. Um, I tried, I'm back on Stitch Fix. Mm. Stitch Fix? Stitch, yeah. Stitch, Stitch Fix. And I got my first shipment, and I got some jeans that fit really nice. Um, and then, but they sent me, <laughs> they sent me a bunch of, like, spring or fall pieces. And like, I colder, lo- colder weather yeah, stuff. Yeah, colder weather stuff, and I loved them. I f- <laughs> the fucking jacket, like, I'm mad at myself. I know. Because I love jackets, you know how I feel. It's like a great fall or a great spring jacket, and it fit me like a glove right now. And it was black, and it cinched in at the waist, and it was all the things. And I was like, oh, I really want this, but it was like eighty nine dollars. And I was like, you don't fucking need this right now, like, yeah. you know. And if you keep it all, it's like two fifty. And I'm like, I don't. And one of the jeans didn't fit. The one jean that I kept did. And then I got this really cute bodysuit, cropped bodysuit. Um, like floral a jumpsuit. Jump. I'm sorry, not bodysuit. You're right. Jumpsuit. I'm sorry. Jumpsuit. Um, sweetheart neckline. Not sweetheart, but like kind of crisscross V neck, spaghetti strap, floral black. Adorable. Not typical. Those typically don't fit me. Yeah. They don't fit me in my torso right. And then I have the camel toe, <laughs> <laughs> and it's riding all up in places it shouldn't be. She is loud and proud. Loud and proud, but um. <laughs> It fit perfect, surprisingly enough. And normally it will accentuate the part of my body that I hate the most, which is my midsection. And it did not. It was pretty flattering for the most part. And I was like, okay. But I did that because I want to try pieces that I wouldn't pick for myself. Absolutely. I think that's a great idea. You know, and so you're sending, you know, you send them your sizes, your measurements for all the things, what your style is, what your everything. And so that's just a little something I'm going to do for myself. But when I, I tried to even express this to my kid, like, one thing that I know that I can do for myself in these moments where I'm struggling a little bit with my body is make sure that I get up every day and not like today. Today is not the example, obviously, by looking at me right now, <laughs> but get up, do my hair, put my makeup yeah. on, put myself together. And if you look good, you feel good. And so 
I am struggling a little bit. So I'm trying to get back to that. And not not in a place where it's like it, it's super bothersome to me. Yeah. But because that normally really isn't my thing. It's there. It's but like I'm just a, being honest. It's, it's like a low hum. It's a low hum. It's tugging at me a little bit, yeah. you know, and and it's because I know I can do better. Sure. You know, I'm kind of kind of beating up myself a little bit like you, you got to do better, Laura. And like I stop wonder, fucking around. I wonder if that's like, you know, there's that's kind of like the theme of my life right now is not that I can do better, but I am doing everything that I can Mm -hmm. in every aspect of my life Mm -hmm. with my kid, Mm -hmm. with my job, Mm -hmm. with my husband, with my body and my body image. Like I am doing everything that I can. Mm -hmm. I am working out and I'm eating right and I'm doing all the things and that it, this is maybe this is just who I'm supposed to be in my late thirties. Well, and, if you, and that's okay because I'm I know what I'm doing and that makes me feel good. I was gonna say that's the piece though. Yeah, you know you're doing the things, you're doing everything that you can, and you're and if you're feel if you that's 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 it. Yeah, that's the that's the golden fucking ticket. Yeah, I am not right. Right. I had Taco Bell yesterday yeah. for lunch. I had a chili cheese burrito and a Mexican pizza. Because they're so good. And then we went to the <laughs> movies. And so for dinner, I had corn dogs. Just as good. And Sour Patch Kids <laughs> for dinner. Even better. And, <laughs> you know, we were at home at my mom's this weekend. And I had, you know, barbecue pork sandwiches yeah. and big big plates of baked beans and taco salad and all the things. And so it's like, I know I'm not. And it's hard. We talk a lot on this podcast about grace, giving ourselves grace. And it's hard to give yourself grace when you don't feel like you're doing enough to begin with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like Mm -hmm. it's easier for me to give myself grace with the four pieces of pizza I just ate or three Mm -hmm. pieces of pizza. Mm hmm. Well, it was like two pieces of pizza and then a whole bunch of jalapeno stuffed cheese bread, which was delicious. <laughs> but it's hard to give yourself that. Like, it's easier for me to give myself my, that grace with that mm-hmm. because I know what I'm doing with everything else. Mm-hmm. So it's easier for me to give myself a little bit of yeah. grace. And that's just the season that I'm in right now. Yeah. Now, do I wish I could give myself grace in other aspects of my life? A thousand percent. Mm-hmm. But I'm not. That's not the season. Well, I am not in that season your- in that aspect of my life yet. Yep. And that's your balance. But I am with this. And so I rocked that fucking coral jumpsuit, even though that one in particular was too short for my torso. So I had to untuck it or I had to unbutton it and just tuck it in. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that I'm struggling with is the shit that they are putting in stores. You know, yeah. obviously, but like the stuff that's out in stores right now, I'm like, I feel like it's either ugly. Where is the rest of the shirt or why is there so much fabric? And or why... <laughs> Are we going back to the 90s or the Mennonites? That's like what I mean. The like dresses, yeah. There's like, either not enough clothing yeah. or there's too much clothing. And there's no middle ground. And no. so I like want to identify what's my summer style? What's my summer swag? Like, I don't know what it is. I can't, I can't feel it. I can't find it. Like, you want to be a little bit, I, I want to look good. I want to feel good. I want to be a little bit sexy, but I want to be comfortable at the same time. I want it to be age appropriate. Yeah. I am a mom. I ain't trying to be somebody that I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm trying to balance feminine with, you know, comfort and, you know, you know, a little bit sporty. It's like, I don't, I'm trying to find this summertime identity right now for my style. And I'm like bouncing all over the place. Yeah. I feel like summer style is a lot harder to find. Man, it sure the fuck is. Than a colder weather style. It really is. And it's like, I don't rock a lot of dresses, no. you know. There's nothing wrong with a good summer dress, but it's not. I'm not going to wake up and be like, oh, let me throw this dress on so I can go to work. I did that. I feel like there was a phase. We all went in that like maxi dress phase sure, for a while. But that ain't it. I hate them. Yeah. And that's I look a- back on like some of the ones that I bought or and you wore. Look and I'm like. Like you feel like what you were you do- doing? was looking dumpy. Yeah. 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 Like I like a good tank dress. I love a good body kind, but like even right now. So this whole ain't it yeah. for my body kind. It was last summer, yeah. but it ain't right now. I don't want to. I can't do it. And it's not because I can't. I could. Sure. But I don't 
feel good in them. And it's not 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 worried about what other people seem. It's if I'm not feeling it, I can't do it. I yeah. got to feel good about it, too. Yeah, there's two sides to that that coin, yeah. right? It's yeah. the not caring about what other people think, which is hard for a lot of people to get over. Yeah. And but I still want to. And I then still there's caring good. about how you feel yeah. in said yeah. things. Yeah. Yep. So I'm I'm in this weird Brooklyn. I feel you. Yeah. I'm in this weird ass summer transition, you know, and so I'm buying pieces here and there, you know, trying to make it work, trying to make it work. And I'm just like, I love these shorts. So I bought a couple different colored pairs of these. Where'd you get them from? Amazon. Oh, nice. Yep. They like they have like the perfect amount of stretch and they hug me in all the right places. So I love them. Nice. And you can dress them up or dress them down. I've been know. striking out with Amazon lately. Try these; these are nice. I should. Mm-hmm. I bought that. I, send I bought that jumpsuit, and it's. I look like fucking Humpty Dumpty. I bought a bathing suit off of there the other day. I'm happy with it. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with it. You know, again, I kind of struggle. I fucking hate bathing suits. First of all, I just hate them. Like, I hate them. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate them. They're hard, and I feel like once you find a style of bathing suit that you like, it's you not a style anymore. No, and it's like you can't. And then if you want to veer, you don't want to veer from it. And but then you know, like I finally found my style, and it's all these one pieces. I fucking love them, and I feel really good in all of the ones that I've bought. But one pieces are in style right now, so you can find all kinds of one pieces everywhere. I feel like a dick in a one piece. <laughs> I look like a dick in a one piece, but then it's like I have this and somebody probably looks at me as like, what is she doing in a bikini? And again, mine are high waisted enough. You can't really. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not, I, again, it's not worried about, but I, I don't think that I don't think that they're probably not like, why doesn't she have a one piece on to cover up that shit? And I'm like, because I don't fucking like them and I look stupid. In them. Yeah, but it's mind your business. It's easier for you to, for anyone to think about what um what other people are thinking mm-hmm. when you're insecure about it yourself. Right. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so, of course, that's where your head goes. Yep. That's where anybody's head would go. Yeah. And I think that that's like, I just, I have, I've hit that. I know what I'm doing and I am proud of myself for doing it. And so you I'm gonna get on your train. Girl. I'm good and I'm happy and good. I, you know. Also, the rest of my life is kind of going to shit. So, like, <laughs> I have to have something good in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's all about the balance. You know, that's what I meant. So, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm going to wear yourself. I'm going to wear tight shorts and body suits all fucking summer. Amen. <laughs> to compensate Amen. for the rest of my life. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need to do. Let me try some body. Is that what it is? I need to get. I don't have a body suit yet. Maybe I'll feel differently when you I get one. You should try one. I should try one. I got to see. You know, I had that body suit story that was a damn. <laughs> It wasn't me. It wasn't me, folks. I'm going to spare you and not call you out on this radio right now, but that bodysuit <laughs> shit was... Woo-wee. Anyways, um, <laughs> but maybe I need to try a bodysuit. Maybe you do. If I can find one long enough for my torso. You said Amazon had one, huh? Yeah, so I have the two so far, mm-hmm. and the Amazon one is long enough. That's the brown one that I wore to brunch, mm-hmm. is the Amazon one. Mm-hmm. And then the coral one that I wore mm-hmm. yesterday mm-hmm. is from Target, and it's not long enough in the torso. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because Target makes clothes for <laughs> children. children. <laughs> um, but it fit everywhere else. It's just not mm-hmm. long enough in that torso. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've heard good things about Old Navy's bodysuits, so I think I'm going to go there this weekend mm-hmm. and try and pick one up from there and try the, them out. The other thing that I'm going to continue to do is lean on you know, some of these social media influencers for inspiration, you know, like a lot of those thrifting sites that I follow put together some really cute outfits that are not like overly revealing, but are cute and comfortable and doable. And some of the women that I follow, they're bigger, you know, bigger women. And so body shape more similar to mine and they look great. And I just want to, I want to rock it the same, the same way. The one thing that I, one of my goals for this summer is to, um, I want to, I keep seeing all of these things about a capsule wardrobe. Have you seen them? Mm -mm. Where you buy, you build yourself this capsule wardrobe and it's like X amount of pieces, like 
this many shirts and this many pairs of pants and this many Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. And then you can mix and match and you Mm -hmm. kind of have this endless option. Right. With like a smaller number of articles of clothing. Uh Um, So I think I want to try that for summer. Mm hmm. Um, and just see like if that helps kind of define a style for me. Mm-hmm. They put together those the, a lot of those thrifting pages that I follow put together style boxes. They curate mm. style boxes for you. Same same concept. They'll give you five pieces or so, and you'll say, "I want it to be my summer swag box. I need a business ah, yeah. business you know boss b- boss bitch business box. I need a whatever you know. They have all these different yeah, themes that yeah. you can pick, and they'll curate a box for you." Based on your preferences, you tell them the things you like, maybe color preferences, what you like, what you don't like, prints, da 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 pieces that you're looking for, and they take them and they combine them and they can create, you know, they give you maybe, depending on what size and how much you pay, five, six pieces where you can combine a number of different outfits with those same pieces, but that's the same concept, yeah. right? So yeah. yeah, creating this, these having these staple pieces where you can create multiple looks from it. I was going through my closet and it's just like, I just... Maybe it's maybe I'm just like having like a midlife crisis or something. I don't know. Not even midlife yet, though. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Like, just I I want to like do a whole like rehaul of my fucking shit. I felt that way the other day when I was looking for something to wear because it's spicy out. Um, all of the tank tops that I have in there, I am like, why, <laughs> Ashley? Yeah, right. Why? Why right. did you buy those? Yeah. I you don't even like that. Like the, I don't even like that tank top that's in there. Yeah. I, like I don't even like it. Yeah. I would never buy that for me today. I'm looking at I know. And I, I feel like I the Ashley that bought those tank tops or shirts or whatever it is is not the same, the same. confident Ashley that is now. Sure. Sure. Mhm. Well, my and my whole style is not yeah, that too. The same, like the print. Some of the prints that I have in my closet, I look at now, and I'm like, Ugh. you know, the so, amount of floral I have in my closet. Oh, I have so lot. much floral. Yeah, like it's okay on some things, but I could make forty seven bouquets out of the floral in my closet. And I just did a whole. I just we just I went know, through my closet, I know. but it's not. You know, and I still have stuff in there, like my work stuff and stuff like that. But it's like, like I, fall and winter, I'm yeah. bravey. Spring, cool. I'm good. I'm good. I'm if str- I can still wear jeans. Struggling. Yeah, yes. If I can still put jeans on, I'm yeah. A-OK. Yeah. And now I'm fucking struggling and I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. I got up this morning and that's half the reason why I look the way I look today. Not And my, my outfit is not horrible. It's like my hair wasn't done. I struggled. I was fucking, I was like, I fucking give up. I give up and then I threw a hoodie on over this shirt because to be not cold in the office. And I just was like, well, so I'm going to go home and tomorrow I'm gonna find something to put on that looks better. It makes me feel better. Well, and it's a hair wash day tomorrow. Yes, I do have to wash my hair. So, so that always helps. Yes, kind of jumpstart your let me yeah. get dressed and feel good about myself. Yeah, day. because I'm putting the effort into my face yeah. and hair then I don't want to be out here looking like script. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess the moral of the story is uh, it's okay to not have the confidence that you once had or that you long to have. But um, at some point, try to find a way to not let it hold you back. Yeah, I think the the thing that I'm trying to do right now is, you know, it's okay to reevaluate and maybe start over, you know, like... If what worked for you last year doesn't work for you because your body's changed or whatever, find what does, you know, like there, everybody out there is rocking, you know, with whatever they got. And so find your favorite parts of yourself, find what you feel comfortable in. Um, you know, like Brooklyn, when I look at pictures of Brooklyn, sometimes I'm like, God damn, she looks good when she gorgeous. Puts, she puts her stuff together and she puts herself together. She just be looking so fly and cute. And I'm like, oh, look at her. She looks great. But we all have those moments. Absolutely. We, we all have that feeling. You're not alone, darling. I'm with you. Um, and, you know, if there's anything you can do to pick yourself back up, that's what I'm trying to do, you know, and it, and, and it doesn't mean 
it, 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 it's not going to necessarily be workouts and weight loss for everybody. Right. You know, right. maybe it is just a wardrobe refresh. Maybe it Absolutely. is a, a, a hair, a, change your hair or whatever makes you feel good. But take the time to maybe it's figure out what that is and going up yourself. a size. Yes. Promise uh, you, I, <laughs> you have to do that. Whether and you're it's in denial okay. or not, it's okay. Because fit is everything. Yeah. You can look like a million bucks if your fucking clothes fit right. Yep. Doesn't matter what size they are as yep. long as they fit you right and they yep. fit your body right. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yep. So, you What's know. What's going to be your summer? So your summer swag, your 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 summer your summer staple item that you're really kind of going for this summer is body suits. Yeah. Yeah, that's your thing? Yep, and the, jean, try one. And the jean shorts. And the jean shorts. I'm like into it. Yeah, mine, I'm going to, mine's going to be these like Bermuda, these tight kind of Bermuda frayed jeans, mm-hmm. shorts. I love these. I love the way they feel. I love the way they look. I like what my, in my head, what I can do with them. Yeah. Um, Outfit wise, I can dress up, dress down, yeah. whatever. And that's why I like the body suits. Um, I really have gotten into like I've noticed the last couple years non-patterned plain colored shirts I have a lot of solid black solid white mm-hmm. solid gray solid mm-hmm. green mm-hmm. solid they're all very solid colors but I was kind of really drawn to that with the bodysuit and the jean shorts because I can put a cute pair of strappy sandals on and some jewelry mm-hmm. and kind of dress it up or I can put a pair of sneakers on Mm-hmm. And kind of dress them down, but mm-hmm. it's the same bodysuit and it's mm-hmm. the same outfit. Um, I'm about to go to Amazon as soon as I leave here and order myself bodysuits. Yeah, and so now I need to know. I need to know what this feels like. I know. I need to this this newfound love. I just am like, and you know what? That's my biggest struggle is tops. Yeah, it's the tops. Mine too. It's not necessarily the bottoms yeah. because I can put on a short pair of short. I have I have those two. I have the button up, the button flies. I got the yeah. I, ain't, yeah. I don't ever have a problem with that because my but it's fat and those look nice. Yeah. It looks nice in shorts. My legs are nice. I don't have a problem with the bottom half. Yeah. It's from the fucking waist up yeah. that I don't ever know what to do with uh-huh. it. And I find myself when I'm scrolling and I'm shopping and I'm purposefully looking, I don't ever f- be like, oh, I really like that. Yeah. It's the tops. It's the tops. You should try. I mean, so maybe I just need find to simplify. One that, yeah. Find one. And that just go solid colors. Yep. Fuck it. Try a bodysuit. See All what. Right. All right, I am. I am. So Try it. Am. And if you don't like it, I'll take it. You don't even Deal. have to return it. I'll just pay you, and you just. I'll just take it. All right. I'm doing it. You should. So no, I'm, don't. I'm not. Don't play with me. I I'm not home, playing with you. Home, order, I told right? you I'm the last time we had this fashion episode that that was my goal was to because I was really like the tucked in look and I want to try you a body did, suit. and you rocked it and, and I did it and I hooked. fucking love them and you're hooked and you feel great and so and I, I need to figure swear out to God if, if I was this... putting coats on because that was my thing if I was putting coats on just like I said I'd be fucking great but I can't wear a coat in 93 degrees <laughs> I'm gonna die <laughs> and I swear to God if this next generation fucking gets rid of body suits I'm gonna punch you right in your faces. Every single one of you. Just keep them Don't on, still rock them. Buy a surplus it. now. I know I should. Buy a surplus now and then to. say, fuck all these people and just keep rocking them. I'm going to. Buy a surplus wait. now. That's the other thing. If you have something that you know works for you, buy a number of them in different colors. Yeah. Different whatever. color, different style. Yeah, different, whatever. Like, and that's what why, I think that's why I like the bodysuits because A, they stay in place, right? So you, I'm not fidgeting with my clothes the whole time I'm wearing them. So that's another thing. Uh huh. Yeah. And good but point. There's all different kinds of like necklines on them. Some of them are long sleeves. Some of them are short sleeves. Some of them are like high neck boat necks. Some of them are like yeah. that tank top. This the low scoop tank top. Some mm-hmm. of them are like racer backs. You can get all different fucking right. kinds of yeah. tops. That's why I like right. them. Talk me into it. Well, good. Right. Yay! I'll report back at another later time. Done. Done. So, put the bathing suit on. Find something that makes yourself feel confident. But, you know, don't feel bad if you don't have it. It's all right. It's a season. You just got to work to it. It's and that's a what I'm doing. season. We say that a lot. Because there's all, I mean, we live in Michigan for God's sakes. We we truly experience seasons. Literally so. and figuratively. Mm-hmm. The seasons don't last forever. No, nope, they don't. They don't. Love yourself. Just don't forget to do that. Yeah. And. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you struggle, just get you some wine. <gasps> yeah. Or Corona. Or Corona. Tapo Chico's. Crown peach. Because chaos is inevitable, folks. But that's why there's all the cocktails in your girlfriend. Oh, oh, love my girl. Try body suit. Love y'all. Bye.